Jennifer, uh, congratulations on your new film. Thank yeah, you for your thank time. You. I appreciate it. And I hope you're doing okay. Thank you. I Same to you. <laughs> so when I was watching Do Revenge, uh, it reminded me of classic films such as Mean Girls, Cruel Intentions, uh, where it's entertaining, fun, glamorous, but the characters are really doing some nasty stuff. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I yeah. wanted to ask you, how fun was it to explore themes such as bullying, social media, hypocrisy, friendship, family, and more through your Black comedy? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 fun to be able to kind of explore the themes of adolescence through the lens of comedy and especially through the lens of kind of like the acidic comedy of Do Revenge, because I think you just get to be, you get to be a little naughty. You get to be very delicious. And I think when, when all of the characters are kind of bad, there, there aren't really rules that you have to follow and it, and it can get very fun and, and your creative, uh, the creativity can kind of run wild. <laughs> so as a, as a father of two daughters, 12 and 10, this film, it, it was fun, but also it was, I was, you know, I kind of anxious watching this. No, film it's not a that. life. It's not going to be. It's not going to be their experience. It's not. Yeah. It's not meant to mirror their experience. So, so uh, one of the other things I really enjoy about the film was the chemistry between Maya Hawk and Camila Mendes as their own characters on the film. So, how fun was it working with them? And can you talk about what each one of them brought to the table for for to make this film work? Every day was a really a dream working with Maya and Cami. I think that. They're, they're really different. They're really different in the way that they approach craft, that the way that they approach the film, that they, the way that they approach their characters. And funny enough, like, they really, like, if you think about how Drea would have approached the film and Eleanor would have approached the film, that is how Maya and Cammie did it. So it was, it was like, they are, they are a little bit of this odd couple, but they work so perfectly together. And they, there really was a lot of, like, love and a lot of mutual respect there. And they it shows on screen because they were wonderful. Uh, before wrapping up, I wanted to ask you about the soundtrack. The soundtrack for this film is, is really is awesome. Uh, it's about like classics, but it also has like modern uh, songs like hits. You got Olivia Rodrigo, etc. Uh, so I wanted to ask you how important it was to get music from these artists that are like from our modern times uh, uh, to, to like elevate the music at each moment through like if you wanted a serious moment if you wanted like a okay cool glamorous moment how important was the music for the for the soundtrack in this film it was super important to me music is important in everything that I make I feel like it's really the heartbeat and kind of a, emotional core of the film um so yeah for me it was about kind of the finding the perfect intersection between the nostalgia 90s you know millennial uh songs and then those Gen Z kind of new songs because what what happens then is for Gen Z the 90s songs are discoveries and for millennials hopefully the Gen Z songs are discoveries so it's like everyone is like there's like a fresh factor there's a soldier factor and it kind of is like the perfect intersection which I think mirrors back to what do revenge is and it's in its uh core again thank you for your time I appreciate it and congratulations on your film uh wish you the best and saludos from Puerto Rico take care thank you